wanted to move into just asking you a bit more about your writing practice and the process because you have written quite a number of novels. So do you write full time, part time? Are you writing this late at night on a writing retreat or <laughs> how does it work for you? If there's time for a writing retreat, that would be lovely, you know, just to go somewhere where someone cooked for you and then you could just write. That would be fantastic. Um, no, unfortunately for me, um, like most writers, I have got a day job. So um, about four days of the week is the day job and that completely leaves me so shattered that I can barely sort of put two words together that aren't technical or legal. Um, for the rest of the week, like those three days, um, pretty much I'll be sort of doing either technical writing or creative writing. And I do tend to sort of like, you know, at traffic lights or when I'm waiting for someone, just jot ideas down. So I'm constantly writing and I do, you know, do creative writing on days where I'm doing my day job. But for me, because, you know, I've always tried to squeeze writing in among other things, like pretty much if I'm not thinking about work, if my eyes are open, I'll be writing. So for me, there's never really any writer's block because I never have enough time. Like I think I've set it up so that I've got no time to actually worry about whether or not I've got ideas. All I know is I've got two hours. I've got to, you know, I've got to get something out because otherwise that two hours will be gone and I'll have to go do something else. So that's how I kind of structure it. I'm sort of writing pretty much when I'm awake or thinking about ideas or thinking about stories or eavesdropping on people. Like I'm constantly going, that's a great turn of phrase. I'm going to stick that in my book. And I've done that before, like, you know, on a train station platform. Someone said, oh, can I swear, actually? Um, she, she said something like, oh, yeah, it's really, really deep and it's got deep themes and shit. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to use that sentence in a book. So I did. I actually dropped that into the astrologer's daughter. But I just love listening to people and picking up words like, you know, cobber and sport and things that I don't use myself and just dropping them into the text so it sounds more authentic. So, yeah, that's just one of my writing tricks, just listening to real people speaking. Mm. Excellent. That was going to be my next question was if you had any practical tips for aspiring writers. So practical tips, I think these days, like it's a lot easier to actually get started with writing because there's so many fan fiction websites and also a lot of the big publishers these days, back when I was starting out, um, they would never accept anything from you that wasn't, you know, on a piece of paper signed posted nowadays like every week or every month like a lot of the huge publishers will actually accept um, pictures from people via email so if you're really an aspiring writer and this is what you want to do you know nut out your storyline have your first few chapters ready to go and then just start submitting because a lot of the publishing companies now they'll publish 14 year olds 16 year olds like you know really young writers which was not something that they used to do in the past so really the, the message for most writers is just do it, get it out there and don't be afraid. And if you get rejected, like I do all the time, just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Just keep trying. Excellent. 